really like the branding on this brand. I like the branding on this brand. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my January BoxyCharm here for you today, and as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this box, tried out the products inside. I think all but one thing I've tried out, and I definitely have some thoughts for you guys, some little mini reviews. We're just gonna run through the different products and talk about them, so let's get to it. Okay, so the theme this month looks very kind of award show inspired. It says, and the charm award goes to. So cute little theme there. Let's see what's in here. The one thing in here that I was not able to try out is the Adis Ultra Suede Matte Top Coat. It's a full size and it's value of $18. It says mattifies any polish by delivering a flawless, smooth matte finish. Super sophisticated look for any manicure. So I have fake nails, so I wasn't able to try it out, but Honestly, I don't really like the look of matte nail polish. That's a personal preference. I know some people really love it. Um, so if you love it, you'll be excited that this is in the box. But for me, I really don't like that matte sort of a look. So I will pass this on to somebody. But um, again, for the people that like that look, it's cool that it's in here. Next, there is a dry shampoo. This is the Oscar Blondie Pronto Dry Shampoo Spray. It's a full size and it's a value of $23. It says Pronto Dry Shampoo is the ultimate time saver in a spray version. It refreshes, revives, and rejuvenates the hair in a matter of minutes. No water or blow dryer required. This dry shampoo removes excess oil and product buildup without stripping your hair while instantly boosting volume. So I've tried this in the past, um, and I think I got it in maybe a Fab Fit Fun box. And I remember I did like it, um, so I'm spraying it again. I wasn't able to use it today because I washed my hair today, but... I do remember this about it. I remember liking how it absorbed the oil. I felt like it did work. It just has an interesting smell to it. It smells like furniture polish to me. Like exactly like furniture polish or like a cleaner. A certain furniture polish that I used to use when I was little and I would clean my Mimi's house and I would always, you know, clean her house and I would like wipe down her coffee table, which I now own, which is like one of my favorite things that I own. But I used to wipe it down with the furniture polish and it smelled just like this. So it's not a bad smell. It's like a nostalgic smell for me, but just know it has kind of an interesting scent to it. It's sort of like a citrusy, citrusy cleaner kind of a smell. But as far as dry shampoo goes, I think it does work for sure. So I'm definitely gonna use this and I'm not mad about it being in here. Then I got a brush. This is the Crown Brush Deluxe Soft Fan Brush, SS017. It's a full size and it's a value of $12.99. Says a soft fan brush designed for light powder applications for all over the face, as well as along the neck and decollete. So I did use this for my highlighter today. Um, it's very nice and soft. It's a really nice brush. Like if you like small fan brushes like this, it's very, very nice. I just prefer larger fan brushes. Like I really don't use fan brushes a ton for my highlighter to be honest, but I know a lot of people do. Um, this one, I just found it to kind of make a little streak. That's why I don't use them as much, but that's probably just like, I need to learn how to use them better. But I mean, I can see people using it for like powder and stuff and maybe on the neck because it's just super soft. So it's a very nice brush. I just don't know how much use I'm going to get out of it but it's nice quality. Now onto the stuff that I'm really excited about. We are totally learning here together because I did try out this product, but I totally didn't realize something about it that I should have tried too. So now I'm excited to try it again the way it's actually intended to be used. This will make sense in a second. Okay, this is the Pure Chateau Cheek Stain Blush Tint and Brush, I didn't realize there was a brush, Duo. Full size and it's a value of $26 says, give your cheeks the perfect wash of color with Pure's Chateau Cheek Stain. This gel-like formula melts onto your skin to give your look a dewy, fresh glow. Add a dab for a barely there tint or layer it on for a dramatic flush of moisture-rich color. Every way, either way, you wear the cheek stain blush, your skin will thank you. So I do have this on today. I have something else layered over it and a highlighter over it. So. You can't really fully see what this color looks like, but this, does it have a color name? This, uh, it says Cabernet. Okay, so I got the color Cabernet. So I knew that it was a blush tint. So one, t one side is the blush tint and it's a really pretty kind of like, I don't know, bright rosy berry color. 
and it can be very lightly applied because um, at first I applied it lightly and I was like oh, okay but if you really get into it like I use a small stipple brush and like kind of went over the top of it and kind of swiped once I did that a few times it was intense so I mean it really builds up so one side is the blush tint and the other side is a stinking brush I didn't even realize that that is so cool and I bet it blends it out better now this has already started to set but I totally think this will work better because it's a little bit like dense so I think well hmm that's gonna be a problem I mean, yes, you'll have to get it on your, obviously, you'll have to get it on your cheeks first and then blend. A lot of times I swipe a brush across the product, so obviously I can't do it since it's on the other side of the product. So that'll be a little bit different with like my application technique of what, than what I normally do, if that makes sense. But the brush seems nice. It seems like it'll really like get on there and blend it well. It's very soft, so you live and you learn didn't even realize about the little cute brush that's really really cool i like that a lot nice for traveling too and lastly i got this product this is the vintage highlighter double chocolate diamond and rose quartz it's a full size and it's a value of 35 dollars says add a beautiful wash of color and subtle sexy shimmer with this limited edition illuminating face highlighter set Wear it alone or as a beautiful highlight over pretty blush or bronzer. The reflective pearls add radiance on contact, adding a delicate glow and diamond-like finish to the skin. So I do have this on today and it's beautiful. I love this. I really, really liked the other one that we got like, I don't know, a few months ago now. It's really cute, vintage-y looking packaging to it. So I really like the branding on this brand. I like the branding on this brand like the packaging on this brand and this is a really pretty duo this has like a rosy side and then it has kind of like a almost like champagne bronzy sort of a side it's beautiful really pigmented very buttery texture to them now that cheek stain totally kind of stained my hand so don't mind that but there they are right there so there's the pinky one and there's the kind of bronzy one. It's so pretty. Really, really pretty colors. Nice texture to them. I like this brand. Like, I really want to check out more of their products. I meant to do that last time. Haven't done it yet, but I totally need to do that because this is very nice too. So, yeah really really exciting i'm really super pumped that that was in there all right guys so that's everything that i got in my box this month so i just added it up and it's a value of 114.99 so another awesome value i really did like this box this month it's not my absolute favorite that i've ever gotten from boxycharm because some of them are just like knock it out of the park this one's still really good but i'm not like jumping up and down excited over every product i do really like the duo um i do really like that pure cosmetics blush duo thingy the cheek stain i like that a lot i do like the fan brush i'm just gonna have to kind of like figure out different ways that i could use it more often but it's nice quality so i do like this box like this box this month but it's not my overall favorite that i've ever gotten so hope that you guys really enjoyed this video if you want to sign up for boxycharm i will leave my link down below no pressure whatsoever to use my link but if you do thank you so much if you guys get boxycharm i would love to know what you got in your box let me know that down below let me know your favorite thing that you got ask me any questions that you have i'm happy to answer those please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i'll see you in the next video bye